try and uh, make it as brief as possible. Um, two sessions that we, we talked about earlier, which Steve touched on, back four work. There's, there's many practices that you can use to, to improve your back four. I think what Steve was probably touching on, that it's physically exhausting when I'm taking my 15s at the moment, because I'm halfway up the line, squeeze, hold, what to do this, when to do that, when to press, don't come, can you cover, all that information is crucial. And even though we talk about doing all these practices, now we'll do these three different practices tonight. It's important your information on, your, on the side. It's important that we do not, when we coach, is just look at the strikers doing really well and it, he's going to score, but we concentrate on everything else around so the 11 players and also your goalkeeper to be really pushed and pulled. It is a work in progress. Everything we do isn't going to be a success over a night. You, you know, I've, I've tried with my 15s for the last two months from team camp to get them in some sort of shape and organisation, and they're still a million miles away. But you know, we ain't going to get a perfect scenario at the end of the night saying this group is going to be a fantastic as back four. It's just ideas of warm ups, little drills, little functional practices that builds it into back four. So what I'm going to do tonight, I'm going to do a non-contact sort of small-sided game, which the guys have to try and score into the goals, 4v4. The goals are there for a reason, so that it gives them the, the shape straight away as a back four. So when the player's first one's pressing, the other guys are in the right positions, so that naturally they become a back four in the shape. And it's a bit of fun. And it's a competition element. So that's the first practice. The second practice we'll go in will be four channels, goalkeeper, 1v1. So you're back four, right back, centre back, centre back, left back. Channels 1v1 to start with. Just going down the channels 1v1, then bring it into 2v2 and where do you push, where do you fall? You show inside, you show outside. Everybody has different philosophies on which, which way to show. So 3v3, to 4v4, and eventually to somebody overlapping it to make a 5v4 overload and how we deal with crosses and what areas that the defender should be in involved in crossing to the box. I'll finish off with a small sided game, um, which I'll explain a little bit later on. What I will say is I'm going to try and fly through it 15 minutes, 15 minutes, 15 minutes, talking so that we can get an hour and get it done. In theory, I could be doing this for 40 minutes, I could be doing that one for a full night practice and maybe another night as well to, to bed it in and then the last one similar. So I'm trying to fly through it, try and give as many coaching points as possible. Okay? Guys in your cab. Could be a right winger, centre midfielder. Okay. Object of the game is can we score in the opposition's goal? There is no contact in it. Okay. You have to move the ball. You can have a maximum of three touches, but I want you to see team in possession shifting the ball across. Okay. Shift the ball across. You cannot go in each other's half. Okay. Play. Team in possession, when you receive, can we take one step forward? 
one step forward, can we now spread and see through the goal? Okay, so yes, I've got you going back and forth now. I've got you moving as a back four, but I now want to see you moving a little bit quicker and make the pitch a bit wider when you've got possession of the ball. Off you go. Forward. You step forward. Good. Take, take a step forward. Who's possession? Yellow ball. There it is. Yellow ball. Yep. One ball. Play. Good. Okay, take the ball out of the net. And change the four whites. Change the four whites to the different four. Any four, doesn't matter. Any four. Off you go. Play. Play from there. One ball. Play. Possession, try and make it as wide as you possibly can. Can you get the ball out of your feet and maybe get it down the side? So make them work a little bit harder as full back to close that space down and get down the line of play. Play. Move the ball quickly. Get across there. Okay, unlucky. There, go ball. Get across. Spread it. Get across there. Get across there. Good. You've got it. Behind you. Got it. Play. Gosh, good. Don't let that go through. Don't let it go through. Play. Shuffle across. Shuffle across. Good. Good white. Get across. Get across. Get that line off. Get across there. Shuffle around. Lucky. You play from that play. Okay, the crucial thing at the moment, we don't want to let them score on the outside goal. Okay, so we work. That one has to get there quickly. That fullback has to get there as quickly as possible. Okay, and then we shuffle it off. The ball. Play. Get across it quickly. Get across. Good. Now back across. Good. 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 White. Good. Tight. There you go. Play. Play. That ball. Most important thing: they don't score on the end one. They don't score on the end one. Get across. Get across. Work hard. Pull back. Work hard. Get across there. Good boy, good, move the ball, move the ball quickly. Good, good, good. Work hard, work hard. Don't forget to take a step forward if you can. Gosh, okay, and change the yellows, change the yellows. First point, can we get a full back across as quick as we possibly can? So, cutting the line off. Now, I send the second defender, but we should the girls shouting cover and balance. 
you're not going to get the boys to shout cover and balance and pressure, but you're expecting them to do it. Okay. So if I'm there, okay, and I'm closing down, I've worked really hard, I've got here, off, off, there, there, perfect. Okay, move the ball that way. Okay, stand still. Now what we're looking at. Are we shifting over or are we putting pressure on the ball? Put pressure on the ball. So put pressure on the ball. Okay? Now me, where do I go? Now I slide back, covering that goal. Okay? You're covering that goal. That is the perfect shape now. Move the ball again. What do we need? We need pressure there. We need to move across there. Wide again. Across. There. So that is the natural movement of everybody now. So do it slowly. Do it slowly. There. Pressure. Drop cover. Pressure. There, pressure, good. And again, and when I say play live, we do it at match pace. And play live. very quiet okay so now I've got him I'm coming across and we also need now a siege mentality this ball isn't going to get beyond us okay so what I want to see is last ditch lunges last ditch blocks so we're creating we don't want to score goals against us okay so it's pressure cover balance siege mentality nothing goes beyond us that is a back four that's a shot on your goal or it could be a midfield four a ball into your strikers. So if you can get a four like this, working this hard, and then you get the four in front, working just as hard, you're going to be hard to beat. Okay? You ready? I want to see that mentality. Off you go. Get across. Communication. Communication. Okay. Okay. Sometimes you've got to put a hold your hand up and say, good play. Play yellow. There's the ball, there it is, move across, get across. Yeah. There it goes. I got you cover, I got you cover. Yeah. 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 Oh, they've got it, they've yeah, got switch, it. Switch, switch, switch. Yeah. Yeah. On. Yeah. Two strikers, there we are. Play from there, play. Yeah. Two steps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get across, get across, get across. Um, good play. Change the four over or change the eight over. Got enough to change the whole eight. Get a breather. So, as a team in possession, are we just naturally just passing back and forth? Or is it because their movement is so good and they're covering all the goals that we're not taking a shot? The cover's good. Okay. So, if you're in possession now, take a gamble. Okay? As a forward, as a midfielder playing that way, or whoever's got possession of the ball, take a gamble and be inventive in the way that if the ball goes there, pop it back in, little one, two there, and then maybe play around the corner. Make them work harder out of possession now to let the ball go through them. Play. Work hard. Pressure. Pressure. Good. 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 Well done. Permission. Unlucky. Get another ball. Knock the ball to the yellows. Knock the ball to the yellows. Let them do it. Play. Get across, you four. Pressure. Get across. Get across it quicker. Come 
Can you close down quickly? How quick can you close down? Well, as you can see, the attitude of the defenders are they're doing that anyway. So at that straight away, that point is gone. If they were slow off the mark, they weren't coming out and engaging, that would be the first point. So I'll go straight in the second point. In this zone here, we want to be showing them wide. That is my opinion. Some other people might have other opinions, may show inside. My, my philosophy is if it's a wide area, show them into a wide area. Okay, so I'll go 1v1 and I'll push him that way. Whether he's good with his left foot or with his right footed, I want to show him that way. In this zone, likewise, I'm showing him that way. I'm showing him that way, away from that goal. There's the danger, I want to show him that way. In that zone, I'm showing him that way. And in that zone, I'm showing that way. So naturally, as a one, we're showing him away from the goal. So every time now, close down quickly and show away from the goal. Ready? Go! In that zone. Ooh. Good boy, good recovery, good recovery. Next one. Good, stay in your feet, stay in your feet, stay in your feet. Great defending, well done. Next one. Go the other way. Good. Next one. Unlucky, unlucky. Go. Oh, recover, 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 stay in your feet, recover. Don't give up on it. Don't give up. Yes. Once he goes past you. Keep up. He chose. Good tackle. Still got it. Good. Next one. Good. Yeah. Good. Keep him that way. Keep him that way. Stay in your feet. Good boy. Good defending. Next one. Strong. Strong. Cover. Cover. Yep. 
Sammy, come out. So you get out there quickly, you check your stride, you show them one way, now you've got a decision. I guarantee you, if you stay on your feet long enough, they'll give you the ball. What we tend to do is always want to make that tackle. Okay, we make the tackle, we do that, they skip past us, good players. It's either in the top of the net, or it's a great cross. So, can we delay them? How long can we delay them for? We delay them until my, my right winger gets back in, and the field that drops back in and we double up. So now, close down quickly, check your stride, show outside, delay. Do not go to ground. Off you go, play. Stay, 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 stay in your feet, stay in your feet. Good boy, you took it off him, brilliant. Next one. Good, good, stay in your feet. There you go. There you go, good, delayed him. Stay in your feet. Come in. Yeah. Well done, Austin. Back in, back in. Ball out of the zone. Done your job. Your centre back would have got it. Stay in your feet. Stay in your feet. Don't tackle. Don't tackle. Ball out of the zone. Job done. Next one. Okay. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold it there. So, you're going to get beat every now and again. What other person on the field can help us? Centre back will come into it. Goalie, what would I want my goalkeeper? Okay, so body language tells me, Sammy, take him on. He ain't gonna shoot. Okay, he ain't gonna shoot. So if he does have an extra touch, then you can come out. You have to assess as a goalkeeper his body language. If his body language is, he's not closed down, he's looking up, he can put it in the top corner, then you, you, you start position is a certain start position. But if you can see his head is down and he's running up there, you can grab a few yards. Okay, and then you can come out and get it. Take it back. Play! Right. Stay in your feet, stay in your feet. Good boy. Next one. There you go, there you go. Pick it up. Perfect. There you go. Next one. Good, good defending. Show him outside, Austin. Show him outside. Austin's strong foot, stay in your face. Stay in your face. Good. Ooh, recover, recover, recover. Great save. Good, good, good. Whoa. show the line. So if he's going to beat you in a race, he beats you in the race, but he doesn't get in and down there. So you funnel him out there. Okay. The criminal thing to do is give the distance to allow him to come back inside. Okay. So you have to over-exaggerate that channel. Okay. We're now going to go 2v2. Okay. So the two zones work together. Those two zones work together. These two defenders work together. Okay. First ball always comes from the middle and plays to the wide one. Play! Good. That's one. Stay in your feet. Stay in your feet. Good. Next one, here it comes. Yeah, look at that. 
far. Good. Yeah. Good. Good defending. Play. Recover, recover. Good. Next two. This is mainly really for the coaches. When you do 2v2 sessions, usually, play that ball there, you would say to all your kids, show into your strength. Show to your, your other defender. This is where you don't, because you want to show them there, still show them away. So now even though you've got two, and you've got a strength in there, you don't want him stepping inside and finishing. So pull that way, okay? You don't want that showing there, okay? because then they go and play with other players. You want that there. But you have to be careful what you did twice. You've gone that, just let him go down the side, okay? Play this one again, play. Ah, 
Now we're going to work one, two, three zones. And then when we go the other side, we're going to go one, two, three zones. It's always the far zone that doesn't work, always the far defender that doesn't work. Okay? It's now 3v3. So if it comes from this end, it goes bang, 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 you're out of it. Next one, v3 then. Okay? As forwards, just do what you can to go and get a finish. Okay? But I don't want you shooting from 40 yards. I've seen you shooting. What? Good, 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 good. Oh, you let him off the hook. Do you remember what I said about siege mentality? Don't let people pass you. Be ugly defenders. Don't let them score. From that side. Play. Tight. There you go. Out of the zone. Forward, just give him a little bit of a breather so that he can recover. Oh, so now, listen, wait, wait, wait. Remember what we did in there. First one's pressure, cover, cover. The middle one goes, it's more of a triangle shape. Forward, and two drop. Exactly the same thing, off you go. Play. Good, good shake, good shake. There you go, ball out of the zone. Let's have no shots on goal for the next minute. Yeah. Yeah. There you go, six mentality, no goal. Wait until they're ready. Wait until they're ready. Play! Oh, you're going to go that side now. Tight. We've got four work in that time. Work this side, work this side first. Play! Step, drop. Step. Pressure! Work. work that side. Tight, 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 yeah. Tight! Hold on, turn. Good. This side. This side, work this side. Play! Hold it there. Okay. Back four. What is the first principle? When we were in there, what was the first principle? Uh, can we go? Can we put pressure? Can we close down? Can we go quickly? Because now I put three against you, it's a little bit. I'm not going to go and close down now. You still have to put that first point of pressure on. Put the onus on them to beat you not dictate by walking back and letting them come at you. Play! Pressure. Pressure! Good! Pressure! Good! Get him up. Good. He's out of the zone. That's better. That's better. Come on. Get across. Play! Pressure. There you go. Go and win it. Good. And then he clearance. Should he clear it out of the back? Don't let him dance on it. Pressure. Wait, wait for him. Wait for him. Remember they're doing it every time. Play. Pass the first ball. Pressure. And hold it there. Walk it back. Exactly. Walk it back to where you were. Play the first ball across. And we'll walk through it too. Got a breather. Put the first ball across. Okay, put the pressure on like you did. Okay, that's that. Stand still. Too deep. Too deep. Because what you've done now is they can play a little wall pass around you and he gets in. Okay? So you have to, when the first one goes up, the next one goes up, and the next one goes up again. You can't have one up, one balance there, then the one too far behind. This year we work as a three, and we're all come up together, but not flat. Tight. Here he was going to miss. Tight. Tight. Up, 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 up. Get him up. Get him up. Tight. Hey. 
Let him run. from there, but I want it past straight away. Play! Pressure. Go on. No crossing. Good. Take your feet. Walk out. Walk. Get your breather while you're walking out. Wait. What can I say? Play! Tight, tight, ball out. Job done. Job done as a back four. Next one. Play. Pressure. Tight, tight. Good. Stay in your feet. Stay in your feet. Good boy. Good. Play. Good. There you go. Gonna trick the boost. Get him up. Get him up higher. Get him up higher. There you go, I've got him flapping, he's still got the ball though. Need pressure on the ball. Offside. Two minutes ago he'd have been onside. Right. Pressure. Higher, higher. Too deep. Good. And get your breather. Get your breather. Deep breath. And start work. Likewise on this side, the wine man gets it, Sammy gets it, I want an overlap that way. Okay? Put him out of the game. Once he's gone past, he just starts to go. Okay? You're done, you beat him. Wait! Good! Good! Overlap in the wide area. Play! Around him. Dad, how you come? You come? Why players, when you do get the overlap in, take it to the byline and cross it. I don't want you going inside. Just get a finish. Play. Good recovery. Try getting now as a back four unit, you will get time when your full backs get done down the side, or maybe he's up there and a defending midfielder's tracking. Try not to have centre back going wide. Because if you go wide, there, there, you're in here picking up two strikers and midfield players. So now what we're trying to get is an area of the field that we defend when the ball's in a wide area when we're exposed. Okay? He ain't gonna score from there. Just leave him. Just leave him. Because I've told him to stand still. He will recover. You'll have midfield players that will recover. Okay? But what we do is, as a back three, now, first one covers this zone. There. You cover that zone there. Okay, so we are now as a three are not going to get done. No matter what movement goes on, we'll attack that area. If you go out, we're in trouble. If you go out, and then you go out, we're in trouble. We need to keep that strong. So whichever side of the field we are, 
The other three stay strong like that. I'm going to ask you, because it's false, when you do get in wide areas, cross the ball. Okay? If you get in a wide area, cross it into the area. Take it back. Principles, pressure on everything aft, but when it goes in a wide area, do that. Play! Early. Get in your zone. There he is! And then you clear it. Good. Good. Walk it out. Walk it out. Get together. You don't always have to go to the wide man. You can go through the middle if you want. Just giving them options. Play! Pressure on the ball, good, squeeze, squeeze, get up! Game's not over, come on. Switch on, play! Tight, 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 good, good, stay together. You'll be offside if he goes up, good. No goals, come on, no goals in the next five minutes, play! Tight, pressure. There you go, show him down the line. Hey, down the line. Hey, hey, hey. There you go. Good. There he is. There he is. Good. And recovered as well. Move him out. Wait. Tight, tight, tight. There you go. There he is. Get back in. Get back in. Good. Good. Two more crosses, you'll get a drink. You don't concede. Play! Wide. Good, good. Pressure. Good. One more. There it is. Pressure on the ball. Pressure on the ball. Pressure. Don't mind. Turn the line. Turn the line. Drop. Yeah. And have a walk. Go and get a drink. Guys! Can you help me with this, please? Just quickly on that one. Um, that could be a session in itself. 1v1 all the way up to 4v4, to 5v4. But really all you're doing is trying to bed in principles of which way to show strength, not onto the weak side. Get them to work together as a two or three, as a four, because they will get overloaded in games. But then also getting your defensive unit knowing that when balls are in wide areas, where they're going in, in the box. So that they're not just chasing out and then exposing areas in your penalty area where they're going to score goals. Please. Two strikers, I'm against them, two strikers, and then we have four midfielders, we'll have a, a right, a centre, and a centre, you play both of them. Okay, so object of the game is yellows, attack there, and you can use your four midfield players, okay? White, when you're attacking there, you can use the four midfield players as well. Okay, so you're always getting overloaded. You've always a back four, you two strikers up against you, and you've got four mids. You're always six versus four. Okay? That back four and that back four can't join in there and play against the others. Okay, you just sit as a back four. Play from there. Play. Hey, play on. Right, 
Now get your shit. Get your shit with the back four. Tight. <laughs>
pressure on that ball. We can't have a free shot. Okay, so ball in wide areas. Get into areas within the box. Ball comes cut back. We need pressure on the ball again. We're back to our original warm up pressure cover balance. But this time it's a shot, not a pass. Play from there, Dino. You've learned it. Areas! Areas! Good. Walk it back out. Walk it back out. <laughs> Wait! Where are you going here, Chris? Third. Yep. Go on. Get new areas. Go on. You need your shout in. I need to be in the kitchen. Yeah. Pressure. Pressure. Yeah, yeah. Don't cross it. Bring your feet. Bring your feet. Bring your feet. Pressure. Go on, Winnie. Come on, Dean. Round him. Relax him. Play from there. Carry on playing. Replay. Step. This is my run. Stop, stop, stop. Pressure. There you go, get round him, Austin. Play from you, Jacob. I'm worried about it. Hurry, hurry, on. Chris. Yeah. Get around, Chris. Yes, sir. Good. Freeze him up. Get your shape again. Areas! And walk in, any cover. Any cover. Go, go. A round of applause for these guys, please. They work really hard. Especially for Josh, Gareth, and uh, Dino. Well, maybe Josh and Gareth. <laughs> now, just quickly, if we just come out, try and wrap it up as quick as we possibly can because I know it's a Friday night and we're not usually working. So. Three different practices, all trying to really bed in <coughs> a back four. Warm up and a pause. 1v1, 2v2, 3v3, 4v4, 5v4. So you've got an overload. So what you're trying to do is I'm trying to create what the kids will have on a Saturday in a training program. The last game is an ideal small-sided game if you haven't got 22 players to make it 11 v 11. To get you've got your four midfielders that double up. So you can work that. Forget it about being defending, you can work out an overlapping session, forward play, you can change the, change the theme on it. But for me, I use it so that I can get my overload, so that my when back four are always exposed to what will happen in games. Because you know the teams that we play, it's catch it, kick it, counter attack, swap and transition possession, it goes and it's back and forth. So we need to be able to deal with 6v4s, 7v4s, 8v4s, because we do sometimes have lazy plays in the team as well. So if you get our back four in a unit like that, you will be, find it very hard for teams to beat you. Fantastic attitude for, by the guys. <laughs> for me, you know, when I first started the 1v1, 2v2, I was going to, in my mind, it's like, well, what points do I have to go through? Close down quickly, have a good attitude, never say die, make your tackle. And really, I could have stepped away and said, well, well done, because that's what they were doing anyway. So that was really, really pleasing to see. Um, but there will always be points and technical points that you push and pull them. But first and foremost, if you have that attitude as a defensive unit, you ain't going to go far wrong. So that is the first one. For me, the last bit of work, a small-sided game, is where all your hard work comes in. And it's more like a game situation when you're playing in the classic ones or RPL. That's what happens in a game where you're having overlapping players, you're having to defend your box, you're having to get your keeper to come off his line and trying to affect everybody in the field. And that's where you earn your money as a coach 
analysing the problems in there and trying to put them right. That's why at the moment it's physically draining with the 15s to push and pull them and it's more of a, a relaxed atmosphere within, within the training programme to just try and push and pull them and give them give them the right sort of attitude to go into the game so they can take on board the information that we and I'm giving them in the games program. Has anybody got any questions about the practices? Steve's practice, my practice, anything about the, the progressions? Sometimes showing out is usually a contentious one. Do you show to your strength? Do you show inside? Do you show outside? There's no right, there's no wrong. You know, some people will say in top level players will show inside to the centre back. And they'll do that because they'll have some airy centre back that wants to kill somebody in the, in the middle, and that's their strength. For me, you want to show them away from the danger, and the danger is that goal. If you can do that as much as you possibly can, the team will get better. Dave, anything? Anybody else? Simon, did you mention it on Did you mention. In the final third, show them outside. Higher up the field, show them inside. Yeah, what? Well, it would all depend on the system, really. Okay. So if I'm playing a back four, I would always show outside two, two right sided one centre back and right back would show outside. Left would do the other way. If I was playing five in front of me, five midfield players, I'd get my wingers to show inside because I've got three in the midfield. So then I'm showing into my strength. Further up the field, there's no danger either way. So you show onto your strength, which would be your midfield. But if you can get a back four doing that, and then your midfield four in front doing that, it's hard to beat. No more questions? Any questions, guys? From... We'll, we'll let you go home. It's Friday night then. <laughs> um, thanks, Simon. Great session again. Um, you know, hopefully tonight, guys, you've seen some bits and pieces from both sessions that can help you. Uh, little ideas sometimes, as we said before, it's. Uh, 90% of what we know is robbed from someone else, and then we put 10% of our own creativity on top of it, you know, to give, us a, give it our own little spin. Every coach has their own different style, and, um, you know, uh, add their own touch to every session. Um, once again, great uh, showing, I think, from uh, all of our coaches with all of our divisions. It's great to see the season uh, kicking off now. We've had some good results in tournament play. Um, our Facebook page, you know, thanks to Bill and everything going with the social media is growing and getting really exciting. Uh, with the Chelsea photos, everything we've got going. So, I mean, it's looking real positive for the future. We appreciate your hard work all the way through the week and uh, coaching at the weekends. Um, so, you know, good luck again this weekend. Thanks for coming out on a Friday night. And if uh, no more questions, we'll bid you good night and, uh, you know, good luck for the weekend. I'm a fourteen. Oh, I didn't know that. Did you give up your own? I didn't know that. Hey, guys, two feet.